welcome back everyone today we'll be looking at um, drill down option drill down option uh, in SSRS 2008 R2 um, I just started using R2 and uh, it's just fantastic unbelievable um, what you're seeing on the screen at the moment is um, a report um, basically which has got a drill down option so um, I just took the, some I just took some data from AdventureWorks um, and you can see the country reseller name and the sales amount so uh, the drill down option is here is basically when you click on Australia that will bring up all the reseller names and individual reseller sales amounts and, and at the bottom you look at the totals of that country for each country um, and um, you basically see all the information there and um, for the totals of all the countries together and one of the things I want to show you guys is you see the total here but when you click on that one we get the total at the top so you can change the visible option um, and when you click on that one that will disappear there but it will show the total here as well um, so this, this is the end result um, I just wanted to show you that and uh, we'll start from the scratch and and see how we go all right, I just opened a uh, new uh, bit session. Uh, so basically, I'll start a new project here. Um, go to File, New Project, and basically change the name to uh, just say Adventure Works underscore reseller. Um, and then select this Reports of a Project. Um, and you can choose whether you want to save this one. Um, I'll just leave it as it is for now and click OK. Well, um, even though I have covered this one previously in the previous videos, I'll just cover that one very quickly. Um, you can just go and um, add a shared resource. Um, if you've got an existing one, you can simply go and right click add existing item. Um, I'll just go with the new one here. Um, just go Adventure Works. And I'll just type in the server name. Just leave it as Windows Authentication. Mostly, it would be Windows Authentication, and I'll select Windows 2000. Uh, sorry, um, I mean AdventureWorks uh, DW 2008 R2, uh, which is a database I uh, downloaded from Microsoft website. It's free, of course, and you can use it for um, for your development and learning purposes. Um, and I just clicked on Test Connection, and um, the Test Connection is succeeded. Click OK. Click OK there. And if you go into credentials, it, it shows as Windows authentication. But uh, in case if you've got a specific username and password, you can click on that one and specify that username and password. Um, or you can ask, uh, you can prompt for a credential. So um, when you click that, it will basically prompt a message saying that enter your username and password. Um, and if, if no credentials are required, you can choose that one. Uh, so I'll just go with the Windows authentication for now. Click OK. Um, and then create a new report um, you can use a wizard method I covered that wizard method uh, in my first video but we'll just go and start from scratch um, just go new item then adventure works reseller drill down report I'm just making up the names here so I'll just click on report just make sure that you click on the report and um, click OK so here you need to connect to a data source um, add new data source um, I'll just name it as AW again and you already created a dat shared data source here so what I'm gonna do is basically use shared data source reference so I'll just basically go and select that particular one there um, ideally you can just put ds underscore ds uh, which means aw da data sources um, just shows that it's a data source um, and just to check the credentials if it is required we already specified the credentials over here in the shared data source so I won't be specifying that one again here um, I'll click OK um, and then add new data set and I'll just say 
actually sell that. Um, either you can use a shared data set, uh, this new uh, new method in uh, 2008 R2. Um, you can create a shared data set where you can use that um, data set anywhere in other reports as well. Um, but at the moment, um, I'll be using, uh, I'll be going with use uh, a data set embedded in my report. Um, so I'll just select the AWDS, the one I just created here, the data source, um, and then let's click uh, and uh, I, I, written a, I written a query previously, um, so I'll just be pasting that query here. Um, what it is doing is basically I'll just go and um, execute that query for you, just so that you know what, what that is returning. Um, I'll just remove these screens, uh, run that one. So what it's doing is basically bringing in the country name, the state, uh, the reseller name, the sales amount. Um, even though I haven't used the state previously in my uh, in the report that I showed you before, um, I just got that one. So in, in case if you want to add that one, you can add that one later on. Click OK. Click OK. Um, so what I'll do is basically insert a matrix. Uh, a matrix is basically a combination of rows and columns. You can uh, group by rows and you can group by columns as well. Um, and it's very, very useful. Um, so what I'll do is basically simply drag and drop the sales amount into the data section here. Uh, that's the sales amount. And go into the right click and uh, go into the uh, text box properties. Uh, I'll go into the number, currency, and I'll click on that use thousand separator so you get a comma here and I'll just show you if you uh, look at that one um, there is no comma there click on that you get a comma um, and uh, the decimals there I don't like normally if it is if it is really required you can have decimals but I normally remove the decimals so you just have that rounded figures uh, click OK um, what I'll do is basically get the reseller name in here so that basically adds into the row group um, let's show you very quickly how it looks like at the moment go to the preview section so you got the re reseller name and sales amount so it's all the resellers as of um, for in every country uh, basically at the moment so go back into that design mode um, and uh, what I'll do is uh, from here I'll just go and add a parent group. What a parent group does is basically groups the reseller name and the sales amount to another group, another level, uh, which is uh, which is called a parent group. And I'll select the country region name, um, and I'll just say add group header, add group footer as well. Um, it basically, it will add uh, extra rows before reseller name and after reseller name. Click OK, so you can see one, bef one before and one after. So I'll just what I'll do is basically I'll click here and uh, click select split cells. So that will split all the cells here. Um, again, I'll just go into this. I'll just I've just clicked on that particular cell, I've deleted the text from there, and basically typing the country I'm just renaming it so that it's not too big um, you can basically click on anywhere of this uh, matrix and what I want what I'm trying to do here is basically I'm trying to uh, format this column this row um, so I just clicked anywhere and then click on this left hand side and then click on B which basically bolts that particular row just go into preview um, so what you're seeing here is, I'll just close this one. Um, what you're seeing here is basically the country, uh, reseller, and the sales amount. So for Australia, what are the resellers are? Uh, you're basically seeing all the resellers here and the sales amounts. Um, so I'll go back to design mode. Um, I think I got a query here where it only restricts to Australia. So I'll just get rid of that. Click OK and then go back and preview. So now you will see all the other countries as well. So you see Canada there, um, France, and, 
and it, it looks very messy. Um, it's not really in situ. You can't really understand how much Australia is doing um, and how much is Canada is doing. And, and um, you know, it, it's very hard to read this data. So to make it um, better looking and um, for visualization of a, of a high level executive, if he, if he comes and have a look at this report, he goes, oh, what the hell, you know, can't really understand the report at all. Um, so it's easy. It's, you had to make the report easier and uh, understandable for from right from the executives to the bottom level staff. Um, I'll, go, I'll go into the design mode. Um, what I'll do here is basically add. Uh, no, I want to do that now. Um, what I'll do is basically grouping that one. So, so the first thing I showed you is the mock-up report, um, how it should look like. Um, so what I'll be doing here is I click on that particular cell. Uh, just make sure that there is a name given to that particular group. Uh, just pull this one up. So there is a English country region name. So it's already uh, a name. A name has been already given. Uh, so when I created the group, uh, it automatically uh, given the name to that particular group. So. What I'll do is basically go in here. So basically go into this particular row. Uh, I'll just highlight that row by clicking on the left side and um, right click and I'll go into row visibility. Um, and what we need to do is basically when, uh, if you look at this sentence here, when the report is initially run. So when the report is initially run, do you want to show this reseller name and sales amount? No. What I want to do is basically hide that and I'll click on this button here. Uh, what it says is display can be toggled uh, by the report item. So what I'll do is basically select that English country region name. Uh, so the, the group name, what we had given here or the system has automatically given uh, to that particular group um, and click OK. Um, I'll do the same thing with this one as well. Row visibility, even though it's a blank, I'll just uh, show you why I have done that one very quickly, a little bit later. Um, so I'll hide that one again, click on display, can be toggled by this report item, English country region name. Click OK. Um, we go preview. So what it does is basically groups all of them together at the, to the country level. So this is the English country region name uh, group. So it all groups to that level. So when I click on a particular country, Australia, so that will show all the resellers' names and sales amount for Australia. And here, Canada, if I click on that, it will show all the sales for Canada. So what I'll do is basically go back and add the totals for this reseller name. Uh, so I go into the row groups area at the bottom. Uh, reseller name, add totals, and select after. So it basically creates the totals after the reseller uh, reseller name. Click OK. So that has created that. I'll get rid of this uh, additional row. Um, I'll just bold these two here. Um, I can select multiple uh, cells by uh, clicking uh, shift. Uh, sorry, pressing shift and then clicking on uh, multiple cells and I'll just click on bold and uh, you can you can make it highlighted as well if you want to um, and I'll just go and do the preview again so you can see the totals for each country okay. so what I want to do now is basically add the totals here so when someone comes into the reports right away, they should see what Australia has done, Canada has done, France has done. So go into design. Very simple. You already added those uh, that sum here. What I'll do is basically copy that, Control C, or you can right click and copy, um, and then click on that on that particular cell. Right click or paste or Control V. Um, that will paste that, and I'll remove the bold and italics. So 
for Australia, you can see the sales amount is 1.5 1 million. Uh, when I click on that, you will see 1.5 for all Australia day. So one thing you want, to, you want to do is basically get rid of this one when this drops down. Uh, as you can see the totals here, and you don't really need to see the totals there. Uh, it's basically visualization uh, techniques, that's all. Um, so what I'll do is basically right click on that particular cell, um, text box properties, um, and go into visual, visibility, and what I'll do is I'll show when the report is run initially, but when it toggles, it will hide. So click OK. It's basically opposite to what we had done previously. Click OK, click preview again. So you can see that 1.5 million there uh, and the totals for each of the other countries as well. And when you click that button, that, that particular cell will disappear. And that particular com complete cell will be disappeared and the numbers and the borders are disappeared as well. Um, and you can see that total at the bottom. Um, so it's just, it looks good, that's all. Um, okay guys, um, that's it for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the uh, video. Uh, please take care, enjoy and keep smiling. Thanks, bye.